Hobby Trench Tutorials, Wars of Eschatology. This is a modified one-page rule Age of Fantasy rule set. Today we're going to be showing you artillery, the most modified element of this rule set. Artillery pieces do not have two activations like all other units do. Once they activate, they have two actions. Artillery has one action. So, that said, I'm going to be activating the artillery piece. My options are aim and fire, shoot at something that's within the firing arc of 60 degrees. That is, for example, that unit there, which is in the 60 degree firing arc. However, this unit is not. I have the second option, a rapidly turn 30 degrees this way, making this my firing arc and that the center point. This will make this unit now in range to being shot. However, I will have a minus one to my accuracy compared to the aim and firing and getting the plus one to my accuracy shooting that unit. My third option is to relocate, being able to redirect where the artillery piece put on the table up to six inch move in any direction. However, it cannot shoot the same turn it moves. The only exception to this is the artillerist commander. The trait of the artillerist can make the artillery piece move up to six inches and relocate without having to activate its one action. Therefore, it can move and then fire as normal. The only way an artillery piece can be attacked without it shooting back in some activation cycle is if it is being flanked. The in directions of anything from its backside, unless it relocates in turns, is its vulnerability. Any unit can melee charge into it and attack it without it being able to shoot back. However, artillery pieces cannot be shot at from long range. They can in a technical sense, but they will be a minus two to be shot at anything that is trying to shoot an artillery piece. So it's a very bad idea to shoot artillery.